Alright, back with this piece of a game. Forget what we were doing. But yeah, I have a question to ask. Um, for people that own consoles and PC, like people who, you know, they own both, do you tend to look at a game that's on both systems, do you tend to look at it for console first or for PC first? Like if it's a new game, right? So, like, let's say, I don't know, <laughs> trying to think of a game, like, uh, I don't know, let's say a new game coming out, like, um, Fallout 76. Let's do one single player and one multiplayer game. Like, let's say there, Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided, and Fallout 76, a single player and a multiplayer. For me, I tend to get single player games for PC and multiplayer games for consoles, if that makes sense. But I usually look at the game for console first. Now in the rare case of Bethesda games, I, I have Fallout 4 for PC and for Xbox. I have Skyrim for PC and for Xbox. So I don't have the special edition for Xbox yet, it's because, I don't know, I just haven't been in, interested in Skyrim re recently, so yeah. But like... I have no desire to play Battlefield on PC. I want to play it on Xbox. Mainly because there's less hackers and, you know, just it just seems to work on Xbox. I don't have to worry about system requirements, you know. But, you know, like, this game's an older game, and I bought it on PC before I bought the Xbox version. Hey, a medkit. Oh yeah, we picked that up last time. It's been a little while. I need more ammo. We win. I don't want that. Oh, that lever made the water electricity electrical. Doesn't matter, because this game has weird stealth, where they can't see me right here, but right here they can see me. No? Yes. No? Yes. It's... This game is not a very good stealth game. I mean, it's trying to be, like, but it just ignores, like, like, Resident Evil Control's stealth game. Doing no damage to enemies, but they do tons to you. Oh, that was a bad idea. Can't believe I missed that first shot. Then again, I did make all the guns less accurate to compensate for the, um, you know, doing more damage. Oh well, back here. Don't worry, I can pick up that med kit. Whoops, no I can't. How about that? <laughs> hey, you didn't come here to see an expert play this game. I'm an idiot. I don't play games correctly. There we go. Somehow I had to find a way past the guards to reach the train. He is an STG. Therefore he dies. Hey, make it. Had to be careful. Careful. See, 
you see how fast they lock on? Like... There we go. Medkit. You don't have a body. Or you don't have a medkit on your body. or something. Alright. Oh, what's up here? No ammo. Didn't they hear all the shooting downstairs? Ah, oh, shotgun man. He actually does damage. How to turn a stealth game into an action game. Simple. Make the enemies do less damage, you do more. It instantly changes the gameplay. Shed a dead body holding a luger. <coughs> I don't think. Right. Hmm. <laughs> All right then. Please hit. Oh, he's moving. Let's see. No, he doesn't have anything. Ballistic armor. Which is weird for World War II. Because I think the most notes they had was flak jackets. Oh no, the Russians had um a metal plate chest that was kind of like... A, it was a weird thing that they issued. But nothing like that vest I see here. That's like a mod modern tactical vest. Bad hit the tank. Good bad hit detection? No, I meant like good. Uh, like, oh good. Bad hit detection. You know what I mean. Uh, 
And, like, the weird thing where you can't, like, switch. Like, you saw where I, I was aimed in, and I switched, right? It was like... Uh, ah. I mean, the one of the good things about this game is it plays at just a solid 60, like 90% of the time. Which is crazy. It plays amazing. Even when recording, like, you would... Yeah, just, just, it's very well done in that regard. Not too much in other regards, but... Maybe it's in here. Key? Key? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so what does this do? Oh, I can't do anything with it. I don't think it's in here. I'm gonna try and find a way out. She does not have a proper stair animation. But why can I climb that? Back the way I came. Run around till I find a key. Up that guy's shotgun, I could just blow the um the uh, door hinge off. Down there somehow. Maybe there were stairs farther to the back. You're already there. <laughs> no, that wasn't blocking this. That was blocking this. Oh, shotgun. Now, I'm going to wait to use a shotgun. Cause I don't know if the same kind of glitch is um, affecting all weapons. All guns have the same fire rate, I'm noticing. His uh, MP40 and his STG fired the same. I have armor. I could already hear the bombers. I had to hurry. Hit detection. Okay, let me see. I'm pretty sure. Right? Oh, it's only back here. Dang it. That's not what I wanted. Okay, well, since it's right here. Okay. It, it, it works fine. the checkpoint was right out that door, but it turns out it wasn't. Just hold on while I slowly move to you with my knife because of Resident Evil controls. I 
Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. That armor is a little too effective for my taste. Because before I was taking damage and I had to be somewhat careful. I mean, even with the modified damage. But now I'm not taking any damage, so... Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. I love when enemies spawn right in front of me. Armor's gone. Shotgun shells, med kit. a lot more fun not as a stealth game. Maybe it's because I just don't like stealth games. No, that's not true. I like Deus Ex. Though you can do either or in Deus Ex. My shock. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's a lot of shotgun shells for this game. Oh, collectible. Where do you want me to go, game? I thought the whole thing was to get into this warehouse and you're telling me it was not not? There's morphine now. They just endlessly spawn. I think they're endlessly spawning. No, those are new guys. That's not what I wanted. I have no idea the weapon... Gun. No idea the button to reload. Well, this is a waste. B. Y. This button. No, this button. No, this one. No, this one. No, A. Left on... The D or right on the D-pad is reload. All right then. Why not X? Or Y? Hey, collectible. Still all unused. Oh, you have a. There we go. Enemies came here when I went out. Hmm. Ah. There we go. react to those explosions around you, sir. Anything else in here? No? Uh, where do I go? Through here. Door open, please. for no reason. Not 
out that way. Get away, car. The submarines were destroyed that night. Operation Gamora was a complete success. Later, I heard that 30,000 civilians were also killed. At a weird random point. It's just kind of abrupt. Silent kill. Zero of 30. Perfect. That's how I play. Three of our top agents had been uncovered in Warsaw. Although the men had succeeded in hiding in the sewers, the damage was very serious. My mission was to prevent secret information from falling into the Germans' hands at any cost. I was smuggled in, unarmed and disguised. I had to find the men before the Gestapo did. If there was no way out, I had to silence them. Those were my orders. It was suspected that their hiding place was in a section of the sewers near the ghetto. It would not be easy to get there. The Nazis were in the process of cleaning out the entire ghetto. All right. Next time. Agent was... Alright, next time.